Welcome back to Online Chalkboard. We are going to do chapter number 4, second degree equations. In the next video, we are going to do square problems. First section, we are going to do exercise questions. In this video, we are going to do the next part. That is the square completion method. If you are going to subscribe to this channel, please like this video. If you are going to share this video, please like this video. So, let's see what is the square completion. Now, let's take page number 81. Okay, we don't have a square completion heading. That is a colorful figure. A green color square, a little yellow color rectangle, a little blue color square. Now, let's take that figure. Now, in the figure, we have a green square. Along with that, we have a description. A green square, two yellow rectangles of the same height, and a small blue square are kept together. The width of the yellow rectangles and the side of the blue square are all 1 meter. That is our green square. Here we have two yellow rectangles and a blue square. The width of the yellow rectangles and the strip is 1 meter. Now, two of them are 1 meter. அதே விட்தானு இ பலு ச்குயர் இந்த சைட் லங்க்டு சு இது ஒரு 1 மீட்ட சைட் உள்ள ஒரு ச்குயர் வாணு பித்திரங்க காரிகளாம் நம்க்கு தந்திருக்கின்னே பின் ஒரு காரிங்கொடு தந்தத்துண்டு the total area of the entire figure is 100 square meters so total இ மூன் green, yellow plus yellow plus blue இத்திரேம் ஆல்காரிட ஏரியானு 100 we have to calculate the length of the side of the green square. So, we have to calculate the length of the side of the green square. So, we have to calculate the length of the green square. So, we have to calculate the length of the green square. So, this is our task. Okay, so the figure is clear. Okay, green, yellow, blue square and rectangles. Total figure in the area is 100 meters square. Yellow strips in the width is 1 meters. Blue in the side is 1 meter. பங்கனை உள்ளை இப்பிகர் இந்த green square இந்த side எத்திரையானானு நீங்களும் கண்டு விடிக்கின்று இப்பு இது செய்யான் நமக்கு எந்த ஏயாம் பெட்டும் நம்மல் கைந்த கலாச் கைந்த வீடியோசில் நீங்களும் கண்டுட்டும் நம்மல் algebraic method யூசியதான் இங்கின்த questions ஒக்கு செய்யாம் போகு இ total area வெச்சு நமக்கு மும்போட்டு வாம் பெட்டுவிடும். சு நமக்கு அங்கன என்ன நோக்கா. Okay, so what will be the total area of this figure? Total area வந்து வரையும் நமக்கு ஒரு ஒருத்திரடு area add ஏயா. So area of, நேன் A என்ன எடுது நேட்டு, area of green square plus area of yellow rectangle, அது ரண்டு தவன வெருந்தில்லை, yellow rectangle 1 plus yellow rectangle 2. So area of yellow rectangle ரண்டு தவன add ஏயா, plus area of last and the blue square all right up it's the area of the idea so area of green square at the area of side x and number let it under so that will be x square plus area of yellow rectangle at the end of the game yellow rectangle in the other side in the car yam one meter on the tender what about this longer side ah either is square white or a side share a on so this is also x. So we have area of the rectangle in the length into breadth. So 1 into x. So that will be x itself. Similarly, area of the other strip is also x. 1 into x is not going to talk. So we x plus x. What about the area of the blue square? 1 meter on the side. So 1 square is not the area. 1 square is nothing but 1. So we get the total area is x square plus x plus x என்று நமக்கு ஐடியாம் 2x plus 1. இதானு total area கிட்டிருக்கின்னே. இந்த நம்மடு question என்று அந்த தந்திருக்கின்னே? area என்று வரையின்னது 100 meter square ஆனுன். இப்பு நமக்கு எழுதாம் x square plus 2x plus 1 என்று வரையின்னது is equal to 100. இவ்வடுந்து நமக்கு எங்கனே x இனே கண்டு பிடிக்காம். அதா இது side இனே கண்டு பிடிக்காம். இதானு நம் நம்மும் இதுன் முன்பு கழின்ன வீடியோசில் நம்மல் கண்டப்பம் எங்கனியாயிருந்து நமக்கு எல்லாத்தின்னியம் equations வேருந்து 
last we have a form here. Now, x plus 3 square is equal to 28. We have a number of numbers. That is, left side we have a whole square. Something square is equal to a number. If you have a number, x plus 3 will be root of this thing. If we have a solve this, we have a solve this. If we have a square, we will have a square. We have x square plus 2x plus 1. We open it. Now, we have to complete the square. We have to do the square completion method. We have to do the x square plus 2x plus 1. We have to do this formula. That is something whole raised to 2. Some square in the way. We have to do the square. We have to solve it. Now, let's see. We have to do the square completion method. We have to do the important and important identity. You will learn how to do it. x plus a the whole square is equal to x square plus 2ax plus a square. You will learn how to do it. Similarly, x minus a the whole square is equal to x square minus 2ax plus a square. These two formulas are very important in this square completion method. Now, how do we do it? Now, we have to get here x square plus 2x plus 1. That's why we have x plus something the whole square. Now, you can see this equation. x square plus 2ax plus a square. That's why we have x plus a the whole square. That's why x square plus 2x plus 1 is the same. Now, what do we need to do in this method? Now, we have to do x square. This is not the same as x. This term is very important. Now, here is x square plus 2x. So, this term is going to be 2ax. So, here we go. x square plus 2x plus 1 is x square plus 2x plus 2ax. Now, this is x square plus 2x plus 1. Alright. Now, here is 2x. Now, here is a value of a and b. Now, here is 2x and now 2x are equal. A is equal to 1 into 2 into 1 into x and 2x are equal to 1. Now, we have 2ax and 2 into 1 into x. Now, A is equal to 1. Now, we have x square plus 2 into 1 into x plus. What is the value of A? Now, you have to write the value of A. Now, x square plus 2 into A into x. That means, 2 into 1 into x plus 1 square. Let's look at this reading. Now, let's look at this. We already have 1 here. P1 and E1 are balanced. Now, x square plus 2 into A into x plus 1 square. What is the value of A? Now, we have to write x plus 1 the whole square. Now, we have to write x plus 1 the whole square. So, x plus 1 the whole square is x square plus 2 into 1 into x. That is 2x plus 1 square. That is the one that we already have. Now, we have to do this question. We have to do the left side of the equation. That is x square plus 2x plus 1 in the portion. We have to do x plus 1 the whole square. So, then we can write x plus 1 the whole square is equal to 100. Okay, x plus 1 the whole square is equal to 100. How do you do this? If we do this, we will have a square formula. So, we completed the square. Now, we will solve it. Now, what do we do? If we x plus 1 the whole square is 100, x plus 1 will be root of 100, which is 10. So, x will be 10 minus 1, which is 9 cm. Now, we will have a green square on each side. We will have 9 cm on each side. Now, let's see how you can do this method. Now, let's do this. We have to do this x square plus 2x plus 1. We have to do something plus some. x plus something the whole square. Now, let's do this question. We have to do the square completion method. So, let's do this algebra. How do we do this total area? That is, x square plus 2x plus 1. x plus 1 the whole square is equal to 100. Now, let's see the figure. Let's look at this geometrically. Now, we have to cut this figure. We have to cut this one piece. Now, we have to cut the green square. Now, we have to cut the green square. Now, 
Okay, green square in the side x on the mother. So x side all square over the end. In here and yellow strip pillar, no matter rectangles in there. Adi the rectangle and then over the end of the Okay, let it stay there. And over side of one meter, matte side of the mother, x on the this is a rectangle strip. This is the just cut. This is the mole. This is the rectangle. This is the mole. This is the side of one unit. This is the side of x unit. So, this is the square. the mole. This is the rectangle. This is the space. This space the blue circle. Blue square and fit the same. This side is 1 meter. This side is 1 meter. Now, 1 into 1. Now, this one is blue square. Now, we have to rearrange this figure. This is a square. 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 So, total length will be x plus 1. Similarly, all the four sides, all the sides, x and 1 and So, it will be x plus 1. So, we have to take the square of the side x plus 1 and the square. So, this figure is the total area. This figure is the total area. This is the total area. So, we have to take the area of the square. So, we have to take the area of the square. So, x plus 1 the square is the whole square. E figure in the area and rewrite it. Other than the number of the x square plus 2x plus 1 and x plus 1 the whole square in the middle. Then we can name it x plus 1 the whole square is 100. Then we can change the method. We can change the figure and we can rearrange it. We can change the square. We can change the square. We can change the area. We can solve it. We can change the value. So this is basically the square completion method. Okay, now we have one or two questions in the chamber. Next, we will do a question on page number 82. The question is, One side of a rectangle is 2 meters longer than the other side. And its area is 224 meters square. What are the length of the sides? Okay, now we have to say, Area, one rectangle. That rectangle is the area of the rectangle. 224 meter square. Now, this rectangle is length and breadth. Side length is the length. Now, we have a condition. One side of rectangle is 2 meter longer than the other side. Now, what do you do? One side is x. Let one side of the rectangle be x. Now, what is the other side? It is 2 meters longer than the other side. Now, we have x plus 2. So, one side is x. The side is x. The side is x. So, x plus 2. Now, we have two sides. What is the equation? The area is the equation. So, area of the rectangle is x into x plus 2. Product of the two sides. Length into breadth. So, that is x into x plus 2 which is given as 224. Now, we have to get the equation. Now, what is the equation? Bracket open. x square plus 2x is equal to 224. Now, we will get the equation. Now, we will get the x and the other side. Now, we will get the x and the other side. Now, we will get the square formula. Okay, let's get the x plus a the whole square. We will get the x and the other side. Now, we will get the x. Now, we will learn how to use square completion method. Now, we will use the square completion method. Now, let's see. Now, if you have this equation, you will do the same thing. That is, x is the coefficient of 1. In this case, it is 1. x square. So, if you have 2x square, 3x square, then you will have the same thing. If you have x square, you will have the same thing. Now, if you have x square, we will have the same thing. Next, we will have the same thing. Next, we will have the same thing. Next, we look at x in the term. Now, the coefficient in the term is 2. 2x in the term. What is our lecture? If you look at the left side, you can look at something plus something the whole square. Now, 
2xin ningal engeneyengilum 2 into a into x in the 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 a ede value endha nu ariyan vendiitta idu parayunnathu appo ivada kaanam 2 into x alle ullu appo ivada onnu illa so this is 2 into 1 into x nanu namak idina ee 2x ne rewrite cheyya appo anganeyanengil x square plus 2 into 1 into x ini ivada oru term illa now, we have 224. We have to the x plus a the whole square. the formula is x square plus 2ax plus a square. This is the term. Now, we have to complete the square method. That is 2x 2 into 1 into x. Now, we have to the a the value 1. Now, we have to the the a square term. We have to the equation. Okay, we will put the extra on the end. Now, we will put the extra on the end. Now, we will put the x square plus 2 into 1 into x plus 1 square. A square is the term. Okay, now we will put the extra on the end. Now, we will put the right side on the extra term. Okay, you have to the equation. We have to do the equation. We have to do the equation. We have to do the left side and right side. We have to do the balance. We have to do the extra. We have to do the balance. We have to do the balance. We have to do the balance. Similarly, we have to do the minus. We have to do the side. We have to do the balance. Now, we have to do equation. x square plus 2x is equal to 224. You can add this to the left equation to 1 square. Then you can add that to the right one square. Now, if you add that to the left, we can convert the formula to x plus 1 the whole square. So, x square plus 2x, I will give you a plus 1. 1 square, x plus 1 the whole square. So, this is equal to 2 into 1 into x plus 1 the whole square. So, this is equal to right up. This is not 224. 224 plus 1 square, that is plus 1 and go down. So that will be 225. So, we will rewrite the initial equation here. x square plus 2x is equal to 224. And x plus 1 the whole square is equal to 225. Now, we will solve this. Now, we will solve this. x plus 1 is equal to root of 225. Root of 225 is equal to root of 225. Now, we have x plus 1 is equal to 15. x is equal to 15 minus 1, which is 14. So, x is 14 meters and the other side is x plus 2. So, the second side will be 14 plus 2, which is 16 meters. So, we have rectangle in the two sides. The sides are 14 meters and 16 meters long. Okay, now we have completed the question. Is it clear? We have to do this. We have to do this equation. We have to do this equation. We have to do this equation. We have to convert the equation to a square cube. We have to convert the equation to a square cube. Let's solve it. Okay. Now we have to learn this method. We have to learn some exercise questions. We have to apply this method. So, you have to learn this concept. Okay, so we have to learn this question 1 in the exercise. 1 added to the product of 2 consecutive even numbers gives 289. What are the numbers? Okay, you have a question. 1 is added to the product of 2 consecutive even numbers. 2 consecutive even numbers. What are the consecutive numbers? Consecutive numbers are the numbers. Okay, that's why 1 and 2 are the consecutive numbers. That is 2 and 3 are consecutive numbers, 5 and 6 are consecutive numbers. So, add up to the number of consecutive numbers. Now, we have two consecutive even numbers. What do you think? Add up to the number of two even numbers. Now, if I add one number of two, what is the consecutive even number? We have two, three, four. Then, next is the odd number. Then, we have to add it. The consecutive number is 4. So, 2 consecutive even numbers are an example of 2, 4. 
Similarly, we have 4, 6, 6, 8. We have even numbers. Now, we have a question. Two consecutive even numbers in the product. Our product is good. When 1 is added to this product, it gives us 289. We will see the numbers. Now, we will see the numbers. Random numbers. Random consecutive even numbers. We will see the numbers. X is the term. Okay, so let X be one number. One number X is the same. That is the consecutive even number. We will see the numbers. Now, we will see the numbers. Now, we will see the numbers. X is the same as the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the same as the number X. The number of the number is the same as the number. That is the number of the number. 2 is the number of the number. 2 plus 1 is 3. That is the number of X plus 1, X plus 2, X plus 3. That is the same as the number of the number. If we take the number of the number of X, that is the number of the next even number. This is the number of the number of the number of the number. Alternate numbers. This is the same as x plus 2 is the even number. That is the same as x plus 4. So if one number is x, the other number will be x plus 2. This is the same as x. Let x and x plus 2 be the two numbers. This is the same as the two consecutive odd numbers. If you have one number is x, the other number is x. Next odd number is plus 2. Then x and x plus 2 will be the two numbers. Then what do we do? What do we do? We will write an equation. We will write an equation for x and x plus 2. So, we will write an equation for 1 is added to the product of the two consecutive even numbers. Then, x into x plus 2 is the product of the product. We will add 1. So, 1 is added to this product. And it will give us 289. This is our equation. Now, we have x. So, we have to do this. We simplify this. So, we are opening the bracket. So, x into x. x square plus x into 2. That is 2x. Now, we have to do this. Plus 1 is equal to 289. So, x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 289. Now, we will tell you that x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 the whole square in the formula. So, we will tell you that x plus 1 the whole square is 289. So, if we simplify this, we will tell you x plus 1 is equal to root of 289, which is 70. So, x plus 1 is 17, we have x is equal to 17 minus 1, which is 60. So, one number is 60. So, automatically, if you look at the consecutive even number, x plus 2 is not. x plus 2 is 16 plus 2, that is 80. So, we have the two numbers. Therefore, the two numbers are 16 and 80. P question is very simple. Because here, completing the square is very simple. x square plus 2x plus 1 is not x plus 1 the whole square and we will get to the end of the question. If you have any questions, it will be difficult to ask. If you have any questions, you will get to the end of the question. Is the question clear? So friends, in this video, we will discuss the square completion method. We will discuss some examples and some exercise questions. If you have any doubt, you will see the video in the next video. If you have any doubt, you will see the concept clear. Let's see the next exercise questions in this chapter. If you like this video, please like and share it with your friends. Thank you.